Right guys, I was just going to do a second one of these oxidation reduction balancing equations type questions. This is an exam question from 2014. Once again, it's a half question. It's question 10. There are three half parts and you do two parts to complete the question. So you've got choice within the question. So this is from 2014. You can see it's very similar to the last one we did in 2016. It says define oxidation in terms of one electron transfer and two change in oxidation number. So if we just answer those questions down here for a start. So in terms of oxidation, so you'll know oxidation is loss of electrons. So O I L R I G oil rig oxidation is loss reduction is gain so that answers the first one in terms of electron transfer oxidation is loss of electrons and in terms of the change in oxidation number well if you're losing electrons the oxidation number goes up so the oxidation number increases because electrons have a negative charge. So that that answers the first part for three marks each. Uh, the next part then goes on to have a look at oxidation numbers, identifying the oxidation agent and the reducing agent, and then balancing the equation. So if we just look at this equation, I've given myself plenty of room this time, so you can see um, exactly what's going on. So I'm going to just assign the oxidation numbers according to the rules. Cadmium there is zero, hydrogen is an ion, so it's plus one. This cadmium is an ion with a plus two, so it's going to be plus two. Um, going on to the next ones, water, the oxygen's minus two, the hydrogen each have a plus one. The oxygen here is a minus two, which means that the nitrogen has a plus two. And the oxygen here has a minus two, which means that nitrogen here has a plus five. Three minus twos is minus six. The whole thing adds up to minus one. So the nitrogen must be a plus five. So that's our, that's assigning the oxidation numbers. The next thing to do is to see what changes number. The cadmium changes number, going from left to right, and the nitrogen changes number, going from left to right. So you can see what happens to cadmium. What I like to do is just write down what happens first. So the number actually pluses two, and you can see here that from nitrogen the number goes down by three. So minus three is what happens, the number. And you'll know that the oxidation number increases for reduction. You'll see as well, or the oxidation number increases for oxidation. So you'll see here that um, if this is minus three, that is a gain of three electrons. And this being plus two will be a loss two electrons okay so we know that oxidation is lost so this is oxidation and we know reduction is gain so this is reduction and we know that oxidizing agents bring about oxidation in other things and get reduced themselves reducing agents bring about reduction in other things and get oxidized themselves so if you look here at the nitrogen, that's undergoing reduction. So it must be the oxidizing agent. The cadmium here is undergoing oxidation because it's losing electrons. So that means that it must be the reducing agent. And that answers the Next part there, part three and part four, identifying the oxidizing agent and the reducing agent in this equation. The last thing that needs to be done, and there's usually about seven marks for this kind of question, is balancing the equation using the oxidation numbers again. So we've already done most of the work. We've already found out the oxidation numbers of everything. We found out which ones are losing, which ones are gaining, which ones are reducing agents, which ones are the oxidizing agents. Um, anytime you have a reaction like this, you need to have the same number of electrons being lost and gained because they can't just 
come out of the air they can't disappear to the air so you need to lose the same number as you gain so here we're losing two for the cadmium and we're gaining three here for the nitrogen so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to multiply it by the lowest common denominator type of thing um so we're going to have to multiply this by three and multiply this by two so that we have a total of six electrons being transferred same here we have six electrons being transferred because we need to have the same number of electrons being transferred. Um, so if we're multiplying this by three, that three goes down here. And if we're multiplying this by two, we need to put the two there. Okay. So whatever we multiply it by, we put it in front of. Same here. Just there with the three. So the next thing we need to do then the final thing is just to make sure that we have the same numbers on each side. So we've got three cadmiums on the left. So we're going to need three cadmiums here on the right. Then look at the nitrogens next. We multiply it by two. So there's a two there. There's two nitrogens here on the left. There's only one here at the right at the moment. So we're going to put a two there. And then the next thing we're going to look at is the oxygens. So if you look here, there's two threes, which is six oxygens on the left. On the right, we currently have two accounted for, and there's one over here. So that two isn't going to change. So from the six, we already have two accounted for, which leaves four. So we're going to need to multiply this by four to get the total of six here on the left, six oxygens, two there and four there. Um, so now that we put a four in front of that, we need eight hydrogens. So we're going to have to put an eight there. Um, so that's now balanced and if you aren't sure if it's balanced or not this is the check that you can do you can just multiply the number by the charge on each of the species on the left and on the right so just to show you what that means um, three times there's no charge on that so it's zero plus eight times there's a plus one charge on the hydrogen there two times plus two times minus one and then just putting in this um, three times two and two times plus two times zero and four times there's nothing on the water there either so if we add these up they're just zeros that's an eight minus two and then on the other side we have a six So you can see that there are six on the left and six on the right of the charges and that kind of proves that's a good way of checking that it is balanced.